hi guys what's up and welcome back to my channel how you guys doing i hope you guys are good anyways if this is your first time coming into my channel hi my name is celine please don't forget to subscribe before you leave i would truly and greatly appreciate it it's the red button down there it's absolutely free youtube won't charge you and i would not charge you so please join the family let's have fun in this youtube world that we're in so guys anyways today's video is kind of different it's not my regular makeup tutorial or or product review or whatever whatever today's today's video is so different as you can see from the title um i just wanted to talk about something so i don't know if you guys have seen um this case that has been going about on youtube so uh, basically it is the chris watts case so um i'm not really one for like um violence and all those kind of things on my channel no you won't see that kind of thing on my channel but this case really got me like it really it's really i don't know it really hit a nerve watching so many videos on youtube anyways let me not even let me just start from the beginning so for those of who you who do not know um christopher lee watts is a is an american man who lives in colorado and um in august of 2018 that's last year he murdered his wife and his wife and the wife was pregnant with their unborn son and his two daughters so he basically murdered four people so um he annihilated his entire family so um yeah like you know how you go on youtube and you try to like you're just trying to catch up on videos you know and watch videos and stuff like that so this case just popped up on my timeline like because my mom really has this <laughs> she has really put put this whole we watch investigation discovery a lot here so this whole like you want to see what happened why did he do this what this so you know i kind of got intrigued i wanted to see what this case was about and the fact that it was quite recent i wanted to know what this case was about so anyways um what according to him he said happened was the wife um shan shanan i hope i'm right in that pronunciation shanan she according to his confession he said that shanan um killed his two daughters then he got angry and strangled her to death well i will still come to that i believe that that is a big fat lie like it's it's a huge ass lie but we are still going to come to that i'm going to post up some links in my description box like you know to to if you want to see like the genesis and exodus of this whole story his interviews his uh, police interviews like everything is on youtube like his police interviews the first arrival of the police officer you know and stuff like that so anyways let me just briefly state it to you so um let me just tell you like how everything unraveled so on august 13th 2018 shenan came back from a trip around 1 40 something um on that morning like 1 a.m there about on that morning because they have a camera on their door so it actually recorded or picked up the time as at when she arrived so her friend drops her off in her house and she's she's a couple of weeks pregnant or a couple of months pregnant so a cut like around 5 a.m chris usually according to the neighbor chris usually wakes up around five because he has a camera that points like towards the streets um that's like just in front of their house so he he actually sees like his movements you know what he does on a daily activity so he usually wakes up by 5 a.m he packs his lunch he does everything you know and his truck is usually parked on the street but today or on that day it was quite different he backed up his truck into his garage and we we didn't see what happened but he went into the house about three times probably loading their bodies into the truck i have no idea but we didn't really see what he was doing but you know he went back and forth you know into loading i don't know what he was doing so anyways he drives off um her friend that dropped her because she had a 
a gynecology um, appointment that day that same 13 so her friend was like okay you know if you need any help you know let me know and all that but anyways you know the friend comes over to the house to like check up on her because at this point now she's been calling Shannon and she's not picking up her calls you know and whatnot so she then goes to the house to now check up on her if she's okay because I think they said she had diabetes or something like that you know I think prenatal diabetes or something so she wanted to just make sure that she was fine so she goes to the house rings the bell nothing she then calls the police police arrive on the scene and the police is you know he goes around the house he knocks this that 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 you know trying to find out okay maybe if she has passed out maybe the kids will come and answer the, the daughters will come and answer the door but nobody answers they don't even hear the voices of children in the house so anyways fast forward to that they called the husband Chris you know he's like oh she said she was going on she was taking the kids on a play date to a friend's house you know um, that was the last time he heard of her but anyways he's five minutes away this is like 30 minutes before or 30 minutes after the friend had called he said it was five minutes away 40 minutes had passed the police finally call him he's like oh he's five minutes away so after like 10 minutes later he finally arrives at the house you know he's not even I still go, I'm gonna post up the video so you see like it, it was all from the police's um, body cam like the whole thing so anyways he arrives and you know this kind of thing when somebody tells you ah we'll be calling your wife your wife is not picking you'll be frantic like ah, your wife is pregnant you know you'd be frantic like oh my god and um, this way you know you'd like want to think on your toes you as in you'd be so distarted but this guy was so calm he comes he shakes the officer you know then he opens the garage door and enters into the house he waits about a minute and 15 seconds before he even opens the main front door to end to allow like the police come and into the house they come into the house eventually you know they're searching everywhere they see her phone he says the phone is dead you know they see her wedding ring you know and stuff like that you know the house is still in order you know it's not like as if she packed them the only thing he says is okay there's a uh, the girls blankets are missing from the house or from their rooms their blankets are not there so and i think i can't remember which of the kids i don't know if he's uh celeste or the other one uh, the other daughter that takes drugs i don't know what she has or what problem she has but anyway she takes she's on the medication and the medication was at home and they say she never goes a day without that medication so i'm like the demeanor on this guy was just like so calm like oh it's a normal day nothing happened my wife is this you know i'm like don't worry just watch the video you'd you'd have this this is like an african i'm coming to you with the african like an african man's reaction to them telling you like my in fact let me not just say an african because i'm sure pretty much everybody else would have a startled reaction when they tell you oh your wife your this your daddy anything that concerns family and people that you love you'd be but this guy no not him he's unfazed you know he keeps people call him you know he's he answers like oh that he doesn't know what happened he has no inclination as to where they are the next day comes um, news cameras are everywhere he's granting interviews oh that um, he doesn't know where they're at that if anybody has them this one that one that one before then the day that on that day when they came back they went to luckily the neighbor now told the police officer that he had a a a a camera that like sees towards their house area so probably they would be able to spot if somebody came to pick them up or something they go to one <laughs> i swear that is the funniest part you guys need to see the clip the, the, the link is going to this down below you need to see the clip of chris my god that guy was in shambles you know when you are about to be nabbed they're about to catch you in your life he was fidgeting like <laughs> you know when he's like oh you know he couldn't even watch you know when if he was a normal person now and that kind of thing you like your neighbor says oh ah, i have i have a camera oh yeah yeah yeah, it's true it's true oh yeah let's go and watch let's go and watch Maybe this is, he wasn't even as excited to even know that yes the neighbor had a camera 
even when they were watching it you know he was pacing up and down he was trying to you know calm himself down because he knew he knew like probably they might have seen what he did and everything you know this guy was all over the place you know he kept on yapping you know you know when they're about to catch you in a lie you just keep on blabbing you keep on talking you don't even know you're left from it like that's how he was you know oh this oh that oh that oh that to the point that even the neighbor when even after chris had left the house you know after they watched the video they didn't really see anything when chris had left the house the neighbor even told the police officer like nah this guy is not right that he knows him to be a quiet person normally but this time around no 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 that there's something wrong he, this is not the normal chris that he knows as in like it was so obvious even me as i was watching i was like nah nigga you did something <laughs> You know, I, this is not a laughing matter, but you know, it was really like it showed. No, the guy, anyways, you know, the next day he's granting interviews to reporters or oh, that whoever is with my wife and children, they should bring them by. I just want them to come home. I just want them this one, that one. You know, he was referring to them in the whole past tense ish. I'm like. Oh, no man, you need to watch this case. Like I was really heartbroken when I watched this whole thing. Anyways, to cut the long story short, he finally confesses. You know, after after much pressure from the police, you know, during in, in, investig or during his interrogation, you know, he felt even he even felt the lie detector test. You know, after everything, he finally comes clean. He's like, oh okay, he denied at first that he had an affair, but he had an affair with a lady. I don't know if that was the cause of him having to do this dastardly deed that he did because I don't see how you just wake up one morning and kill your wife, your unborn baby and your two children. Like I don't know how. Like what kind of mind would you have to actually commit such a crime? Like I don't just get it. You know, if you know you're tired of the marriage, then let go. It's not by force. Like we as Africans now, like I don't well, I don't really want to say Africans in general, but like in Nigeria, in our homes, most times, because of how religious most of our parents are, you know, sometimes they tell you, oh, we don't believe in divorce, you know, this one, that one, marriage is for better, for worse, marriage is, you know, we, we grew up on that mentality, but as, as time and age and everything has come into play, you know, you see more people getting divorced that, oh, you know, they don't want to continue the marriage anymore, they, you know, this one, that one, that one, and it's okay, it's not a crime, nobody is going to kill you if you say, okay, he's beating me, I don't want to continue this marriage, oh, she talks me down, I don't want to continue in this marriage maybe whatever kept you guys in the beginning is no longer there if you feel you have to move on move on if he had to move on i don't see why he would kill his wife and his children okay let's say now he was tired of the marriage yes he now killed his wife why then kill the children like why then kill your two beautiful daughters like i don't get you know when they were in court after, you know, after they had done the autopsy the uh, the uh, is it district attorney i don't know i think so but you know he kind of read the autopsy and everything that the wife was strangled to death while the two daughters were smothered to death smothering is when you like take a pillow and you know cover the face you know to cut off air supply so the two daughters were actually smothered to death like I'm sorry. This is <sighs> like how do you? <laughs> okay, I need to get myself together. Okay, so how do you? How do you? How do you take a pillow? <laughs> you know he. You know the funny thing is he says he loves those girls to death. Like he would do anything for them. But you cut their life short you know that is not even the part that pains me the most the part that pains me the most is the way he now disposed of their bodies first off he buried the wife in a shallow grave this was like in one of the oil plants that he works in because i think he's into oil and something like that so anyways he buries the wife in a shallow grave let's just leave that side but the daughters like they are oil they were oil tankers in um in in the field or where he he buried the wife and he took the daughters 
and he squeezed them like they said the mouth of the oil tankers were eight inches and obviously a child what i think um celeste was four or five and the other daughter was i can't really remember but i'm going to just put a link so you just see everything so he then squeezed like for you to squeeze a child into that hole you definitely have to like break her bones or something so she she can easily be be pushed in into that hole like and you say you love these children it was bad enough that you killed them okay let's say you 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 killed your wife out of self-defense as he proclaims why didn't you call the cops why didn't you say oh oh um this that that, that. i don't know what happened it was an accident it was this it was that you know we would say okay ah you so you call the you call the police oh my wife you know my wife just killed my daughters you know i don't know what happened i was so angry i then strangled her we would understand that but no you actually guys I, i'm 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 angry and i'm sad at the same time like if you know you don't want i don't know if it was because of the mistress that he had I really, I really oh, see the God honest truth is no one would ever know what entered into Chris Watt's head for him to have done what he did. That is just the truth. Nobody would know because I don't see how you would take a pillow, a child that you and your wife conceived after nine months. You have it's not like as if it was the baby was still small. These children, I think four and five, they have grown up, you have grown to love them, you have been training them, and they keep saying that, oh, he's a guy that likes to take care of his women, but yet you still cut these girls' lives off. You didn't give them a chance to get married, you didn't give them a chance to see their future family, you didn't give them a chance to to, to experience life, to, to, to grow, to have boyfriends, to, to experience everything that life has to offer. No, you cut their life short. Why? You have a mistress. You want to start off a new life with her. What happened to divorce? Why not just come to her? Oh, this marriage is not sweeting me anymore. I'm not happy in this marriage anymore. I want us to divorce. I found somebody new. The world will not end. The world will not end. She will not die. You will not die. Nothing will happen. Everybody will move on. You could have just come clean. Okay, see, I cheated on you. I can't and I'm, I'm no longer happy in this marriage anymore I don't want to do this marriage anymore please let's divorce you know and it's, it's, simple, it's as simple as that you file papers everybody goes their own way they live their life you well no I don't know if you if, if in your mind a fresh new start is oh let me wipe my family entirely clean then probably uh, exonerate myself by lying salacious stupid lies that don't even make any sense then i'll now go to one town like that and change my identity change my name then you now start off a new life with your girlfriend like how does that work like kudos to the neighbor and those police officers like the cbi the colorado bureau of investigation the fbi like they really came out like they they really if not for those people like I don't know what what this case would have turned into. I'm so I'm so glad and so happy that he got I think he got four life four life sentences for killing his daughters, his wife, then I think twelve years for the lawful termination of an unborn child. I can't remember Shabo. but even his verdict, everything was is on YouTube. I'm gonna put all the links to all the hopefully I'll be able to find all the videos that I watched. I'm gonna put all the links in the description box. Like like guys i need us to have a conversation like if you know you're like sometimes i wouldn't lie i love white people this i'm not being racist there's nothing racist about it i love white people but i feel sometimes they just go to extreme when it comes to emotions like you know it's it's it's, it's like as if some of them just take like they take it to i don't know like I love white people like i don't have any bias or problem with white people i just feel sometimes there are some things there are some decisions in life you just have to sit back and think if i do this what will happen like you just do things sometimes some of them just do things like without thinking i'm not saying black people don't do things like that sure some black people do things they just wake up one morning and do things but why do why do people why do people why do you just wake up one morning and just take decisions not regarding how it would affect you how it would affect your family how would it would affect your mother your father your brothers the the person's mother or father you just take a life so so selflessly like as if you can just snap your fingers and boom the person will just wake up 
like i don't get it this is and to think that you know her the love story between them all started from facebook you know she didn't even think of it as anything but luckily there was chemistry you know and they got married they had children like every time she talks about him on because she was really into my health challenges happened um i was diagnosed with some um health challenges and then i met chris i met chris because of those health challenges um my friend sent me a friend suggestion for him it was actually his cousin's wife and um i deleted it i was like i am not interested i don't want to meet a guy uh bye bye <laughs> so i deleted her friend suggestion for him I was diagnosed uh, two months later and I went through one of the, I would say, darkest times of my life because things just got scarier, um, worse. Um, I thought my life was crumbling underneath me and I didn't know uh, which way to turn. Uh, I didn't have a lot of friends at the time because a lot of my friends, um, the friends I did have I lost because they didn't understand that I looked perfectly fine and I felt perf uh, horribly inside. Um, horribly I felt um, a lot of discomforts a lot of aches a lot of um, bad moods um, I met a lot of friends online and in the part where I gave up on everything I quit my job it was kind of temporarily but kind of quit my job uh, of nine years I just said I'm done I can't do this anymore I'm you, didn't, you don't understand me, you don't understand what's going on in my life, and I quit. And I got a friend suggestion, friend request from Chris. <laughs> I was in a really, really, really bad place. And I got a friend, su friend request from Chris on Facebook, and I was like, oh, what the heck, I'm never gonna meet him. Except, well, one thing led to another, and eight years later, we have two kids, we live in Colorado, and he's the best thing that is ever happened to me and because of my health challenges because I got so sick I let him in and he only knew me at that time he knew me at my worst and he accepted me and you know through um, your vows like through sickness and everything he's been there he was the one that let me lay on him and fall asleep for three and a half hours on his lap while he had to pee um, like Facebook like she does a lot of live videos and every time she talks about Chris you know she always had good things to say oh Chris she was always talking about how they met and stuff like that so and I'm wondering why if you were not happy anymore why couldn't you just tell her according to some of the videos I watched they actually said like you know they had that morning of the 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 unfortunate events they actually had a quarrel you know i think they had already she had already been sensing that oh probably he has a mistress somewhere or something like that but still i don't i don't ah. <sighs> guys when i think about this case like it 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 it, it, it doesn't it just upsets me in the pit of my stomach like nobody deserves to die the way these, these these people were killed nobody you know sometimes I, I i read some of the comments on some of these videos like you know some people were actually blaming the mom chris's mom that she's narcissistic and that um she, because according to what they said she had she always she didn't get along with her daughter <laughs> come to africa there are a lot of mothers that don't get in get, get along with their daughter-in-laws you know so a lot of people were cursing out the mom that uh, she's narcissistic that she, she raised a a psychopath you know that is the cause of the mom this one that one you know there were just so many allegations being thrown at the mom like the mom is this the mom is that you know there's some people also blaming the mistress that probably the mistress may have put him up to this might have put some ideas in his head and everything to to make him go about doing what he did you know and stuff like that so there were just so many things that were that have been flying around on youtube like this case is still very recent i think it was in november of last year that he got sentenced so it's quite still recent like it's quite still very fresh like i think they just buried i can't remember if it was last year or this year that they laid um shenan to rest shenan and the kids to rest but like 
for you to actually do that it's bad enough that you killed them you killed your daughters you lied on top of that then the way you now disposed of them like i see they were trash like how do you sleep at night how do you wake up like how how do you, how after doing such a thing how can you even go to work like he went to work like a normal day how guys i'm uh, like i really wanted to come and share like my my thoughts about this whole case like i'm really upset like i don't see why why you have to kill you know it's you know if it was that it was a do or die affair like there's no going out of marriage fine but this one there is the option of divorce nobody will kill you if you tell them oh that the marriage did not work you know um i i I, uh, I I couldn't. We ir- uh, there are so many people that have divorced on the basis of irreconcilable differences. So if you could have said that, why couldn't you? Why couldn't you have done that? Why couldn't you have just divorced her? You move on. She moves on. Everybody moves on with their lives. Start off afresh. If you want to be with your mistress, you're free to be with her. But no, you just had to, guys. You know I don't really want to make this video too long, and at the same time. I I'm I'm just I want to hear your thoughts guys like I'm I'm gonna put the links in the description box so just watch these videos watch everything from his interrogation to everything like let's have a discussion tell me what you think about this case like from my own point of view I think this killing it was on it was a senseless killing like it did not make any sense whatsoever like it did not make any sense whatsoever and he just ended the lives of these beautiful the beautiful girls like even if you were tired of your wife if you had just killed her i'm not saying what he did was right but if he had just killed her we would have understood but then you now went further to now take the lives of the daughters then the way you now dispose them breaking their bones and squeezing them inside an oil container i can't, I can't remember i think it was somewhere that i also read that when they even found the girls like their skin had started peeling off from their body like how do you live with yourself guys um let's continue this conversation in the comment section if you've if you've heard about this case you know just let me know let me know what you think in the comment section what are your thoughts like like i don't know let's have a conversation guys I'm really distraught like like honestly I don't know what to say I'm just I'm gobsmacked like when I watched this whole case everything unfold I why do pe why do people do the things they do why why is it necessary guys let me know what you think you know let me hear your thoughts you know after if you if you haven't watched any of the videos you know his investigation his education check in the description box if you have let me know what you thought about the whole the whole case in general you know what what do you think what do you think would have caused him to did to before i speak nonsense what do you think would have caused him to do what he did like just let me know let's have a conversation guys thank you guys so much i just wanted to just share my own point of view like it wasn't necessary it wasn't necessary let me know what you think let me know what you're thinking in the comment section after 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 this whole conversation thank you guys so much for watching and um yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye guys